the first week of the new school year, and APS has given its superintendent the boot. Winston Brooks was forced out in exchange for his resignation. He gets a small fortune. But good luck finding out what led to his ouster, and that has some people ticked off. Let's get to News 13's Catherine Mazzone. Well, that's right, Dean. Sources tell us the investigation that led to all of this was centered around Brooks' wife. But APS still won't even confirm that. A $250,000 a year salary, two more years left on his contract, and Winston Brooks steps down. To the unanimous approval of the school board, Board President Annalie Maestas read a joint statement speaking for Brooks. The decision to end the employment relationship will allow both the board and Brooks to establish a new direction. Both agree that this decision is in the best option for APS at this time. In a nine-page settlement agreement, the district agrees to a $350,000 payout for Brooks and another twenty-five dollars for him to remain on sick leave until he's gone in a month. And if APS badmouths Brooks publicly, that's another $25,000. Brooks would see the same fine if he says anything negative about the district. And the results of that private investigation? The settlement reads it's not to be released to anyone. The public still has a right to know what led to this. What were the facts that led us to a situation in which our uh, superintendent resigned and the school district had to pay a payout? Greg Williams is with the New Mexico Foundation for Open Government. He thinks this is setting a dangerous precedent. We think the public's interest in the school district, in taxpayer money, outweighs any interest that Mr. Brooks or the school district have in keeping it quiet. Now, the resignation must be approved by the Public Education Department. Twelve years ago, APS forced Superintendent Brad Allison to resign due to a drug and alcohol problem after three years in office. The payout? $350,000. Dean, back to you. Catherine, thank you. Brooks came from Wichita, Kansas. He's been the super at APS for six years now. You can find the full settlement agreement for Winston Brooks online at krqe.com.